be a good time to highlight some of this. It's not even quite rush hour yet, but some of this traffic is just terrible. Well, there must be an accident or something going on up here. I'm not going to ask Jim too many questions right now because he needs to concentrate on driving. And I don't have a lot of patience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell him what we're doing today? Jim? Yeah, we're going to run up to Ankeny, which is on Des Moines' north side, and uh, share with you some of the pros and cons of living in Ankeny. Yes. Lots of pros, a few cons that we could think of. Ankeny's a nice place. We didn't come up with as many cons as we did pros. Yeah, it's uh, probably the fastest growing community in Polk County mm -hmm. and one of the fastest growing in Iowa as well, too. So, is It's second to Waukee, right? Uh, they're pretty close, I okay. think, but it might be second to Waukee, yeah. correct. Yeah, well, we are headed up to Uptown Ankeny right now, which Jim didn't actually know it was called Uptown, and I could be wrong on that, but downtown I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure it's called Uptown. It's the original part of Ankeny. It's got a lot of older houses, older shops, some really great restaurants, breweries, coffee shops. So we're going to start there, start talking about Ankeny, and we'll be there once we can get through all this traffic. So that's Uptown Food and Beverage yeah. Company. So they must I told you it was called Uptown. You were right. Hey, is it me, or does this place smell like Updog? What's up, dog? Gotcha! Oh, God. We are in Uptown Ankeny right now, Jim and I are. And Uptown is the original Ankeny. So Ankeny's grown a lot, a ton. It's doubled in the past. Um, population has doubled since 2000. And Jim, you probably remember way better than I do when this was really it. Right, I mean, this is sort of the southwest central part of Ankeny and was a downtown community. And um, so you find a lot of older buildings mixed in with some newer buildings, but to me, it kind of reminds me a little bit in West Des Moines of the Valley Junction mm -hmm. area where you've got some boutiques and some restaurants and some newer businesses coming in like the brewery, uh, but you also have office spaces involved here. Yeah. Uh, easy parking, easy to get to, specialty shops. So it's kind of a, yeah, just a little quaint area. That's a good segue into one of the first pros, positives of living in Ankeny, in my opinion, is it's very self-sufficient. If you live in Ankeny and if you work in Ankeny, there shouldn't be much need for you to ever get outside of Ankeny. You've got Sam's Club, Costco, plenty of good restaurants, some of the best restaurants. I, I throw that term around too loosely, best, I think, but perfect. I, known as Pizza, Flame, Taqueria, lots of stuff up here in Uptown. Um, but yeah, you would never have to leave. And, that ties in with one of the cons too, where if you do have to leave and you're going during rush hour, like Jim and I saw on our way up here, is sometimes the traffic getting over to West Des Moines, Waukee, Norwalk, even downtown can be, can be cumbersome. It can take a lot longer than you want. I'm not gonna say anything. I don't want you to get killed here in the middle of an intersection. Yeah, smart. One of the neat things, Matt, about Ankeny is it's got pretty uh, easy traffic flow to and from it. There's four Interstate access is along Interstate 35. You got quick access up to Ames, Iowa State University up there, great university. And also on the south side of Ankeny, you've got Highway 69, which as it enters uh, Ankeny from the south becomes Ankeny Boulevard. It is one of the major thoroughfares through the city. So yeah, the DMAC, there's a lot of people with college bound uh, students that are using that as an alternative today uh, to save money because it's less costly, it's local. And for students that aren't sure what they want to be majoring in in college, yeah. um, I think they can um, get a good quality education there for their first year or two before maybe moving on to uh, an Iowa or an Iowa State on that. Yeah, I have some friends who went to DMAC for their first two years. And mm -hmm. It was a great, saved them tons of money. That's a great route to go. Yeah, and they really have a, a great uh, lot of options. You can get rid of a lot of the college prep courses that you need on the front end too. So it's a great resource. Jim and I are gonna head over to now, what, I'm blinking on that, Prairie Trail. Prairie Trail is a newer part of Ankeny. So this is obviously old Ankeny. You can see there's some trails back here. And Ankeny has, what is it, 100 miles of biking and walking trails, I think something like that? Approximately 100 miles of okay. trails or 600 acres of parks. Uh, the trails inter, uh, go throughout the whole city here. Uh, a lot of it was created themselves, but then a lot of it was old railroad trestles then uh, the trains aren't running anymore, and so they've been turned into bike paths. I'm curious what your thoughts are on this, Jim, having lived here. To me, Ankeny, being in the area for a year and a half, seems like one of the most bikeable, walkable suburbs of the 
of yeah. the Des Moines Metro. I don't know how true that is, but I think there's a the lot of, uh, I, I, I think like a lot of suburbs, they the city planners have done a great job of incorporating recreational pursuits, whether it be bike trails, whether it's parks, whether it's swimming pools, for example, Ankeny's got two aquatic centers, uh, Cascade Falls, and I think Prairie Ridge is the other one on the north side, the original one. So yeah, whatever it is, families can find a lot of activities to get their kids involved with. Um, you got two high schools here, so there's more opportunity for uh, kids to be in f sports or uh, choir or band or whatever they want to pursue too, so. Lots of pros. Yes. We'll, we'll, we'll hit on some of the other cons we thought of when we head over to Prairie Trail. This is the Prairie Trail neighborhood, and I just think it's just gorgeous back here. Yeah, they did sort of a uh, median park area here uh, with large homes right around the center of it. So it's up like a lot of older communities would be where the park was the main community. They wanted to make this available for people to be able to walk not only in the neighborhood, but to schools, to aquatic center, to shopping. And uh, it's a different neighborhood almost from any other neighborhood in the Des Moines metro area because of uh, difference in lot sizes. A lot of the garages are in behind the homes, mm -hmm. you know, versus being on the front of the homes. And um, you have little, um, yeah, little blocks and things. So it's, and there wasn't one builder who came in and dominated one plat. Uh, it's all different builders, all different styles of homes. And so there's a lot of variety in here, so. Tons of character for a new build community. And not, not fully new, what are these, 2010, 2016 builds? Most of these are probably, yeah, 2005, 2010 on the early end. Uh, and then uh, newer on that, this is one of the elementary schools over here, and right next to that is Cascade Falls, which was the newer of the two uh, aquatic centers on here. So the one thing that some people have to get used to is these homes, a lot of them don't have a lot of backyard because some of that backyard is made up of driveway areas that come in for people to access the homes from behind. So there's a little bit more of a row house type of feel in some of these areas here too. So. It's not for everybody, but if you like a little variety and things, it's really got some neat uh, appeal. Just blew right through that stop sign. Was it? <laughs> it's all right. That was a yellow, wasn't it? Oh, no. So different from Uptown Ankeny, here in Prairie Tail, we've got a lot of local chains, Jethro, Smoky Row, um, and then Jersey some, some national chains too, Jersey Mike's, Yoga 6. It's more of a... I don't know what you'd necessarily compare it to. Just less less locally owned single shops, and more more larger run operations, it seems like. Yeah, it's uh, to me, it's just uh, a retail, an office space, an entertainment space. They've got a large greenbelt area here where they have a lot of different events most weekends, especially during the spring through the fall. Um, you can see up and down the streets here, just, um, it's a neat walkable area with a lot of little places. They've got event centers here. I've been to wedding venues here. Mm -hmm. um, you can shop, you can eat, but it, it's a different feel than obviously a mall because it's not all enclosed, but it's close enough that it's very accessible. So, Jim and I would be out walking around right now because it's so walkable, but it's it's been raining on and off today. Here's our, here's our weather update for you. It's late October and it's been humid in like 70s the last couple of days. It's just been bizarre. Well, we, and we could get out and shop yeah, if you want to do that because something. we're experts on that. So <laughs> that is not that is not true. <laughs> one of the uh, one of the downsides of Ankeny. This is just purely anecdotal. I've heard this from a couple other people, and Jim disagrees with me. But I tend to find that my cell service, especially in the older part of Ankeny that we were just in, is just bad. I don't get hardly any service up there. And, of course, now I, I don't even have Verizon. I used to have Verizon, but even on Verizon, I wouldn't get great service up in Ankeny. Just something to be aware of. If cell service is really important to you, I would I would stray away from the northwest, uh, southwest side of Ankeny. Jim doesn't Jim doesn't agree, but I, I stand by it. All right, we are heading out at Ankeny, back down south to, to our neck of the woods, Urbandale Johnston. We're probably going to encounter some more rush hour traffic on our way there. No, we won't this time. You don't think so? I don't think okay. so. Well, are you being serious? We're gonna take back roads. Okay, all right, we'll take back roads, I guess. And there's Flame, there's one of those restaurants I really oh. like. Great tacos, that Flame. But 
anyways, thank you guys for watching. Again, um, I hope these videos are helpful. If there's anything you'd like to know more about, please feel free to leave that in the comments below. Would genuinely love to get some more ideas for what to shoot videos on. Jim and I are realtors. We enjoy, we don't love making these videos, I guess. It's kind of fun, but more of what we enjoy is just helping people navigate the real estate process, make confident decisions, and understand where they're moving to and why Des Moines is such a great place to live. Um, so if we can be of assistance to you, give us a call. I'll throw our numbers up on the screen somewhere on here. And if you could like and subscribe, that would be amazing. We appreciate you.